what's up y'all it's your girl and i for kicks um we've got a pair that i feel like there are some of y'all you maybe haven't said it yet but might include this pair in your top 10 sneaker releases for 2023 and yeah we're we're still in august we still got some fire coming but i know a lot of you that were really anticipating this shoe um and were able to grab it i feel like it wasn't too difficult to grab um I mean, before I get into all of this, make sure, guys, that you are subscribed to the channel. Like, anybody can be out here, you know, into shoes and collecting, but, like, I take the time to make sure that I film and edit and give you guys, you know, some decent content, and it's, it's a lot of work, so I appreciate, you know, everybody going ahead and subscribing to the channel. Make sure that you comment below, you know, your kind of opinion on this shoe, as well as, you know, other things that I'll mention throughout the video. And then give your girl a thumbs up and share the video with your friends and family, because if you're into sneakers, I can almost guarantee you know somebody that shares your passion. Um, so anyhow, moving right along, let's go ahead and get into the shoe, why everybody is watching this right now. Um, it is a, I mean, you guys saw from the thumbnail, it's a Jordan 1. We've got the Jordan 1 box. Um, it is, it is the Black Toe Lows. Um, Hubby's first pair of Jordan 1 Lows in the collection, by the way. He's got a couple pairs of the Jordan 1, like the highs. We don't, we, we're not fans of mids here, so to each their own. We're just not personal fans. But I was really, really shocked that he went for a pair of lows. But I'm going to be honest, it kind of makes more sense because he doesn't wear Jordan 1 highs. Like, he has the bread toe that he's worn maybe five times. He has the University Blue ones that I don't even think he's worn. I think they're still dead stock and he had to have them. Um, and then he does have the UNC toe uh, Jordan ones that I actually made him wear. I put together a fit for him last week and I made him rock that. So um, I was shocked with the lows, but I'm not mad at it. If you're gonna if you're gonna go with a Jordan one low that's not a Travis Scott, this is a pretty damn good one to do that. Um, I mean, obviously everybody loves a good black toe, especially with the red behind it. Um, I'm I'm telling you this color blocking always does well except for right now the, the sneaker market's just weird but like look at the mochas guys that that black toe color blocking and especially when you've got like an og colorway black toe it's it's a beautiful shoe it really is and yes your girl already laced it up because i made him put it on foot i wanted to see how it looks i cannot wait i'm impatient especially when it comes to putting on shoes i made him undead stock this immediately and yes the other one is still not laced up but i think it's time we make him undead stock both of them and do a little on foot real quick for y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy laced up and show y'all the on foot get back into the shoe itself quality wise I mean you do have like that tumbled leather that nice texture on there so you already know that it's a good quality leather Lowe's have been getting some some love from Nike and Jordan brand recently um the leather around the toe is really nice as well I I'm not a big fan of the leather on the back of it if I'm being totally honest which is kind of what you're here for my honest opinion um but it, it's not a bad shoe it's not bad at all i didn't choose to grab a pair i do have the satin black toes the women's release so i don't need another pair um there's other things that i need to spend my money on like the j balvin threes that are going to be coming out this year um but you know it's got your your laces and the little cardboard packaging instead of the plastic i don't know if it's is it an environmentally friendly thing or is it like it's cheaper for these that I feel like these would be more expensive, but let your girl know, like, do you know, do you know why they switched over or are switching to this? 
Um, but the shoes, it, it's a nice shoe. Um, I know several, like I said before, I know several people that were really going for this shoe. Like, I mean, months ago at events, trying to get it early um, for a decent price. So I feel like there are people that would put this in their top 10 sneaker releases of 2023. I don't know that I would be mad about it. Like, I, I kind of am feeling the idea of a shoe that's not like a true OG, like, you know, like a Playoff 8 or the Cherry 12s we're going to get because it's a low, but also something that's not like a super hyped up collab. But again, let your girl know in the comments below. Um, and let's see, since I, since I talked about the J Balvin's that are coming out and the Playoff 8s that we have to look forward to, um, we do also have, I saw on Sneakers app, there's an all white Kobe, I believe it's called the Halo. That's going to be coming out in like the next week or so. Like, is that something y'all are going for? It's dope. And I love a good Kobe, as you guys already know. But I am not a huge fan of all white. Like, the closest I do to all white is the Sakai Blazer Lows because it's got some dimension to it. It's not pure white like that. It's just like a dirt magnet. I don't know, man. And it's, we struggle enough to try to keep our kicks clean, which is why. Y'all need to make sure you go get that rejuvenator. Make sure you protect your kicks. Um, but yeah, so the, the Kobe's coming out. We also have like ongoing Yeezy week, week and a half, which is normally Yeezy day. But they have been dropping different things like through different, you know, stores and websites. Of course, Adidas confirmed. JD Sports has been doing quite a few. Um, your girl did hit on a pair of slides. Uh, not my size. It's more for like if hubby wants them fine. If not, we'll probably flip them for a little bit because we got to support these purchases. Um, it's a weird color though. Like I've not seen this color before. It looks like it maybe wants to be an onyx, but it's kind of like got a green tint to it. I don't know. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? And is this, is this a new color that we're going to see like one time and then it's gone? It's kind of an ugly color, I'm not even going to lie, but you know your girl will give you a full unboxing when that comes, which is why you've got to have that notification bell hit. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything going on in the very near future. Um, again, next month in September, there is going to be Kicks for Your Soul in Detroit. Do not miss out if you are in the area. It's it's worth any type of drive. Like if it's an hour or two, I promise you guys, it will be worth it. Just take some pairs. I think they have a trading pit that they're gonna be doing this event so that if you don't, you know, if you, it's like sneaker con. If you don't have a table, you post up with your pairs, people walk through, make some deals, maybe meet some new people to follow on Instagram, whatever. Um, Kicks for your soul, Detroit next month and that's gonna be it for the video so lots of information and a dope pair guys as always keep tuning in see what i've got my eye on next